So let's talk a little bit about digital versus analog signals. So digital is a form of discrete, okay? And digital only has two values, a finite range of values, and digital values are specifically a zero and a one. So digital is not exact as analog, but it's easier to work with. Okay, so some examples of digital signals is, um, and what they look like would be here. These, they would have waveforms and the zero voltage here would represent off, okay? And the five volts would represent on. So zero and one, on and off, high and low, true and false, all right? Those would be the digital terms. So analog signals are continuous. They have an infinite range of values. Their values are much more exact, but they're much more difficult to work with. And so these would be some analog signals. You can see that they can be repeating or non-repeating. You see that a square wave can be an analog signal in the center, but it's not necessarily um, a digital signal. A digital signal will not have a negative value. It can only be zero or one you see that this has a value less than zero, all right? So let's think about a temperature. So a digital thermostat in a room displays a temperature of 72. The analog thermometer actually measures the room temperature of 72.482. So if you're checking the temperature in the room, do you need to know that it's 72.482? No, the 72 is perfectly adequate. Um, analog is more accurate. You may need more accuracy, and when you convert from analog to digital, you can choose to make that decision. Um, but it's easier to process electronically, and you can make a decision about how much information you need. A couple other examples that might relate for you guys, a VCR versus a DVD. Even DVDs are outdated now. Blu-ray and um, MP4 files. Um, that would be VCR would be analog, a DVD would be digital. Turntables versus MP3s or CDs. A turntable is still an analog signal, an MP3 and a CD are still a digital signal. So that's why you see sometimes in places people who still prefer turntables because the signal is richer because it is completely continuous. So that's a little bit on analog versus digital signals and I hope this helps.